My company is a simple small business. I offer consulting to whoever asks for it. When I'm asked by a high level office to do something, I have to work my ass off to get online. I am constantly being stalked and literally interfered with with my rights as an American, United States, fully born and bred citizen. My family has dated back from practically the Mayflower, and I have a shitbag brother, allegedly, someplace, with a bloodline, someplace, in his soul, who doesn't remember that he has the three fucking volumes of our last name in America. I don't have to prove myself to any police officer. I don't have to prove myself to any black woman. I don't have to prove myself as a man, because here's the deal. What I feel based on what my father, who openly owned and raised, literally, six children until adulthood almost sadly one of my brothers died but that doesn't matter what i'm saying to you is that you do not have the right to interfere with another human being's life when you do that you destroy every blessing that the world of god can give you every time you lie every time you steal every time you cheat someone out of their property, out of their money, out of their clothing, out of their things, out of anything they want in life, you destroy your life before God. The Bible is pretty clear. I don't have to be a Bible banger to tout the truths that are proven within that old historic testament and work. I don't have to cite you every fucking book that I've ever read in life, but if you need to know some of my books, I've got a photograph of a couple shelves. But let me tell you, I have shitloads of research lots of books, and all kinds of different works. But I chose that path. My late father, a very great orator, taught me three things. That he taught actually all his children. That if you want to learn something in life, you've got three ways to learn. And basically, th that learning helps you to earn. But his biggest phrase that he often said to us again and again and again is there are three ways to learn. You learn from school or reading books. You learn from other people's good work. And you learn from your own stupid, stupid, foolish, or great opportunities that you take and make in life. Now, I'm not saying it exactly the way he does because I'm not going to disparage my late father. My father loved his son. My father loved my life so much that he was never embarrassed to hug me. He was never embarrassed to kiss me. He was never embarrassed to do anything with me. He would call me when he was still driving until I told him, You may not drive anymore, Dad little bit dangerous with the Parkinson's PSP going on but basically I was the only one who got him to stop driving why do you think that is motherfuckers do you think that's because he didn't love me he didn't trust me he didn't care for me as his son no it's because my late father knew that I would never say something to him without really thinking it through without totally analyzing it but my father would call us as my family my Japanese family and I about once a week and he'd say hey let's go to lunch can you go and we would pretty much be able to go. Why? Because we made a life of loving each other. We made a life of fighting for rights of each other. And let me tell you, I've fought for the rights of my son many times in local cor school corporations with bastard old white women who've never been married or lost their husbands and wanted to screw my son out of his life. Along with the Mexican shitbag friends that he ended up having that would fuck him into jail every time. Now let's be clear, I'm not a racist. And a lot of white people say that, and people hate hearing it because, like, well, you just mentioned it, so you must be. No, it's a practical statement. But it's easy for people to become supremacists. And why is that? Because other colored people do stupid shit that cause their entire communities complete and total embarrassment. You don't like to be impoverished? Then get your ass up, go find a book, read it, improve yourself, go on with your life. You don't like the fact that you're a certain color? I can't help you unless you're Michael Jackson who wanted to literally become white. Sorry about that, folks. That's what everybody thought. But also they thought he was gay. Also he thought he was a child murderer. Who the fuck cares? He chose his life and he created his own legacy. My language comes from the absolute rage I feel at this time of my life that some motherfucking sibling thought they'd steal from my entire property. Some shitbag older sibling thought they'd steal my computers, ruin my access, and literally obliterate my life because she just didn't like the way my life felt to her. So what? You got a husband? You got children? Get on with your fucking life. But I'm saying that as an example. That if you're a total stranger to me, don't even fucking bother me. Go do your life. My late father was a great man. He provided a long time. He did all the right things. He did his studies. He learned what to do. He served in the military. And I don't have to keep fucking telling you this. 
when I choose to discover something for the military, they gotta be smart enough to go fucking figure out what the fuck I discovered. I am not interested in knowing all the bloody gory details of what the illegal aliens do here. But if I point at it, if I sit in front of it, if I sleep in front of it, you better fucking pay attention to it. Because we have stupid, immoral whites who ruin our society. We have dumb fuck blacks who ruin their society. And yes, we do have color divides still, unfortunately, but we didn't do that as whites. What do you think happened in history? How do you think everybody got forward is because everybody else decided this is a good cause, this is a good premise, this is a good thing we're doing. Now for the first time in our life we have a White House president who sorta gets what it's like to be poor despite his 12 million in the fucking bank. So let's be clear, if we want to go forward in our life we have to focus on our individual lives and we have to stop fucking people out of their lives. Because you're doing it in front of God, and whether you believe in the Lord above, whether you believe in the Holy Ghost, or whether you just are dedicated to the selfishness of Satan and the poor upbringing of the children of your fucking nation, we thankfully have a man in the house who knows what he's doing. And who the fuck think you think got those people to start dropping out of the race? I can't tout my own horn enough on this, but I literally wrote to one of the most intelligent candidates and said, you motherfuckers better get your shit together so we don't lose this time. I wasn't that rude, of course. But I basically said to that woman, decide who is the most likely candidate to win against Trump and support it wholeheartedly. Decide who has the motherfucking experience to do the fucking job. And decide, do you really truly have the interest of being the American president? Pick. Who should be paired together. Pick your pairs, I said. Now I'm pretty sure she sent that letter to somebody. I'm pretty sure she shared that letter with somebody. But here's the deal. Any American citizen has the right under U.S. law to participate in an election. And my rights to vote, my rights to participate, my rights to learn about what's going on was fucked over by a lot of people. A creep in the streets, probably named a lot of things to people, but the rug rat, the muskrat, you name it. That shitbag little drug addict didn't just do his friends in, he did himself in. Then we've got police officers that wanted to deny my rights to watch the election, which wasn't really moral. But here's the deal. Go do your life. That's the best opinion I can give you as a total stranger to me is go do your life. Read it, research it, do it, learn it, become it, and become what you can be. American society outside of social media is where life is. And when I decide to go forward for picking my next partner and spouse after I lost mine, I don't need one fucking sibling at my age to tell me who I can and can't love. And I don't need one fucking sister calling my life potential partners and pissing all over my rights to love. And I don't need one fucking biological brother thinking he's going to downsize my dick. Because everything I had in life functioned for me and you know what? God can fix anything. But if you fucking strangers think you're going to keep fucking touching my body, shaving my body, cutting my fur, I'm going to take that little bastard 11 year old black boy who's been doing all this shit to me and running me over on a fucking walking trail and I'm going to make sure that the white supremacists find him. Now, does that sound like me to anybody who used to know me in my business? Anybody who used to new network with me in my organizations? No. But what we have is a bunch of people who produce hate and then they lie about hate. They produce the hatred and then they lie about who they are.